Welcome to the site this morning. Uh, it's a lovely day. I've just completed nearly the finish on two large 48 volt batteries. Actually, they're 52 volts. Uh, I'd like to show it to you in this uh, probably about three videos, actually. Uh, I will get right to it. I'm out in the dollhouse or our shop uh, putting together the first do-it-yourself box for our batteries. This is how they arrived. I'll swing around. You can see them all here. I'm going to open this one. What you'll get uh, is unbelievably well packaged. Taped unbelievably. I'm going to cut the top and then I'm going to show you what the contents are. I uh, cut the top and peeled it back and what you get inside, the first thing, is you get two copper bars and the screws that go to the top of the cell. You get two also dividers. And I, I am using them all. Just pulled out the foam that was protecting them from this side. They're protected in the bottom and the top. Uh, I'll pull out a battery and show you how, or a cell, I'm sorry, and show you how well it's done. As you can see, the uh, container or the foam is form fitted. The cells do not move at all. They're extremely well protected. After I pull them out and take off the plastic, I'm going to swing around so you can see, this is the actual cell that I just pulled out. It is a uh, rated at a capacity of 314 amp hours. What I do to each one of them, I take my speed square and I check both sides and what I'm checking for is if they're perfectly flat and they so far they have all been perfectly flat First step is done. There are these yellow boards. They're insulated, very sturdy, that line the inside of the box to make sure that there is no connection with the steel box. This is important. The uh, directions are, uh, I think, extremely uh, good. Uh, I have brought out uh, my laptop, set it here on top of actually my small freezer that I have vegetables and such in. So it is setting here and it gives you the where you put everything. On the first one, and I'm going to do cell number eight, that is the back left one, that will positive go to the corner and plus go to the center. Here's the actual cell, positive to the left, it'll be in the corner, ne uh, or I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Negative going to the left, positive going to the right. Now what you do, and they send these, you don't have to buy them, they send a foam piece for cushioning that goes between the cell and the insulation. Our business, our first one is, that's number eight. It has the foam piece behind it. And I'm simply going to go get another cell. They're all still in their boxes. Measure to make sure it's in. Uh, when I say measure, using a uh, straight edge to make sure there's no swelling at all in it. They've all been perfect so far. And then put it in here and put all eight of them in. And then put the other eight in. And we'll go from there. The bottom box is working perfectly. I have set the uh, second box on of three. There's going to be three totally. 
I'll show you what I'm going to do, or will I do. It's snapped on. So it cannot go anyplace. And those snaps are really heavy duty and really hard to push down. It is really on there tight. Now I'm going to take off these two items and I'm going to start building the box. All right, we've got all the batteries in. We've got the front of it a push back and attach so that the batteries are compressed. We've got all the bus bars on except the last one in the back in there. Uh, on my, my left is a 24 volt system, on my right is a 24 volt system, but as soon as I connect that bus bar that makes it a 48 volt system. More dangerous to me than if it was the 24. If you look carefully, I marked each one of the bolts or the posts that come out of the batteries with a red marker. The reason I did that is because each time I put the machine on it to torque it, so I didn't forget I did it, I marked it immediately. All right, I just put on the bars that hold it, the battery down. I'll point to them in the finger so you can make sure you see them. There is a insulated strip underneath them. They're here and they're held on with four screws, two on each end. Quite sturdy. Just laid these out. They're the wires that go to each cell. I would say there will be 16 of them. However, if you look carefully, there are four black wires. Two down here, two down there. Those are sense temperature sensors. So I can look on my screen and see how warm and or cold the battery bank is. This is the wrench I'm using to uh, torque these nuts. Uh, it is a uh, Tecton. I've got two of them actually. I've got this little one which is new. I bought it just for this job and then I had the bigger one uh, that's a half inch that you do uh, if you're putting tires or something onto a RV like I do. Uh, this is set at uh, seven nanometers. It is using a extension because of the way things working out and that's a nine, uh, ten, I'm sorry, ten millimeter uh, socket that fits over these screw heads or these nuts. It is working just perfectly. If you notice, every time I torque a nut, I mark it with a sharpie. I'll bring it up so you can see it. Just an old king size red sharpie. And I mark each end so that I have no doubt that it has been torqued to the correct amount of nanometers, which is seven. All the cells are in the box. All the bus bars are on. I have not torqued them yet. I will torque them in the morning. Uh, I just set the uh, torque gun. It's supposed to be at seven newtons, I believe. I guess I have, was remiss in not telling you how I think you ought to do it. Uh, I learned this from Ray uh, on his videos. He actually feels for it rather than listens. I listen for the click, but also I use my left hand on top of the, the uh, tool so that when it does release and click, I can feel it. Uh, I do that because I'm hearing impaired and I don't always hear things correctly. But if you put your left hand, if you're right-handed, on top of the m machine and hold it down, you can feel the click just perfectly. This is the first box I've built. Uh, that front panel is on and secured. I've had it off two or three times because the best I can tell, the BMS 
is not functioning correctly. Uh, I've been in touch with uh, Jenny Wu uh, many times over many days and nothing has been resolved. So what I, my plan is that I'm going to take this front cover off just the way it is. Just uh, You can see that it, it's only two bolts and uh, two connections to the BMS to take off. I'm going to install this uh, front cover that I'm working on right now. Uh, I've about got it finished. You can see that I will, it will slip right into the place of the one I'm taking off. This one should work fine. It's brand new, never been connected to anything. This is the screen that came up as soon as I plugged it in. Uh, the only thing I did was uh, convert it from Chinese to English. And you can do that with that little icon up in the top there where it says EN, the one right in front of it, to the left of it, is where you convert it. Uh, it says that the battery is just wonderful. It's all fully charged. I do not have a charger on it. It's just what it is. That's how it came. Uh, you can see I'm at a 19 uh, centigrade uh, on the temperature. Uh, Average cell voltage is 3.281. It's just wonderful. Uh, I couldn't be any happier with what I have. For those who want to know about attaching the top, it's pretty simple. I simply use a uh, DeWalt drill. I simply, and it's I've got it set at seven. You heard it click off. Makes a nice tight screw. No problems at all. The whole top, uh, lots of screws, so helps my wrist being able to use the DeWalt. Well, here is our finished product. I'll have to scrooch in here a little bit. Showing you all BMSs are working correctly. Everything is running uh, 52 plus. Uh, the top one's 52.41. The bottom, uh, middle one is 52.82. Or I guess 8.3. And the bottom is 52.51. Uh, they're all at 100%. That's the way they are. I have not done anything to them in terms of charging. The only thing I did is I set the dip switch right there. The top one is the master. It's zero, 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 zero. The next one is set to one and the bottom one is set to two. If you can, please subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. Uh, I will in a couple of days, post another video. I have FedEx coming tomorrow with a EG4 12,000 XP. I'm going to mount that EG4 12,000 right on this wall, right there in the middle, the best I can tell. Uh, and that's going to be an adventure for me since I'm going to be doing it alone. And it weighs a little over 100 pounds. So, uh, I have a plan, I'll put it in the video, and uh, we'll go from there. I really appreciate you stayed with me. Highly recommend you doing your own batteries. Uh, they really worked well, and it was wonderful wordy, uh, learning opportunity. I wanted to say something and uh, actually give a recommendation. I thought uh, Jenny Wu did an excellent job of getting these items to me. Emailed her back and forth probably about 90 times over a, a month or six weeks. Uh, the transaction went flawless. The delivery went flawless. I couldn't imagine uh, you could get much better. Uh, all products uh, were perfect condition, considering that they came from China. Uh, not even a scratch on anything. Everything was uh, as good a shape as you could possibly expect.